All right, couple things left here. So for um, the, the corrections to keep your puppy from biting, there's a little bit of local formatting. So as you can see in this example, it's, there's a soft return right here because it goes down to the next line, keep. So that's local formatting. There are little changes after the fact, just um, by on a case-to-case -case basis. And then we need to also apply the body copy bold character styles to the first word of each paragraph. So, because they're subtitles, um, but they don't, they're part of the paragraph itself. They just have a little bit of a different attribute than the rest of the paragraph. Lip pinch, and pretty much that's it for the character styling. And now what we're going to do here is actually, if you notice in the final product, all this, this, whatever the headlines are actually in Roman, not italic. So this is, we're going to actually change them now after the fact. And what, the point is that if you had to go and highlight each one of these and change it back to just regular bold condensed instead of bold condensed italic, it would take a while. Maybe not too long in this four page document, but if you had something that was 100 pages, it could take a very long time. So that, again, is another example of why you would use uh, paragraph styling. And then, so if I, for example, I could either go ahead and change the headline by opening up like this and changing it here. Let's see, basic character formats. Um, and change it to just regular bold condensed. And in my preview, now it changes all of them. Or I could cancel that and do things a little differently. I could change one of the headlines to um, bold condensed. And then what I can do is see there now there's a plus sign because I have um, something that's different um, than the actual character style in this piece of text, of highlighted text. So what I can do now is double click and then there's redefine style somewhere. Okay, I take it back. It's not in here. It's actually in the menu options, redefine style. So now if I hit redefine style, it also changes everything, but it's a little bit faster because I don't have to go in and actually change it. It's all adjusted like so. Interesting. That one has an overset text symbol, I think, because there's a soft return somewhere. Okay. Last but not least for this article, we need to find and replace all of the um, the parentheses with the R in the middle and change that to the copyright trademark symbol. And it's really easy to do. Um, if you go file, find and replace, edit, find and replace. So as I was saying, edit, find and replace, or find and change actually, and there's a command for it. Command F, or if you have a PC, it's Control F. Um, if you want the shortcut, I've never really bothered to memorize it, but it could be helpful. So um, first we're going to find each instance of the R with parentheses around. So I'm just going to copy that, Control, Command, C, and paste it right there. And then we're going to change that to a special character. Instead of typing, you have to get the special... Where is it? Tab, end of paragraph symbols, bullet copyright, registered trademark. Okay, it's under symbols and registered trademark symbol. And there's like a special um, script for it, that little tilde thing, whatever it is with the R. And then go to select the whole document. All documents, document. Okay. And then find and change all. And then it says 12 replacements were made. Hit OK. And then let's take a look and see. That one's changed. And it looks like the ones down here have been changed. I have to zoom in to take a look. But yeah, so in just a second, it changed the 12 instances. And if there were more, then they would all be changed. So that's really useful to use you ever have to make changes like that. You can get rid of extra spaces and extra paragraphs by doing that as well. Just find instances.